What's going on guys? It's your boy James here at Beards and Cars back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, thanks for subscribing. If you guys are just stopping by, consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below. Now guys, in this video, if you click just because of the topic, you might want to go check out my channel videos. This is not going to be a normal video that I would make for uh, my channel. This is just going to be hoping that this will reach out and touch somebody. Uh, maybe it can help somebody in the future or somebody that is dealing with problems like this, right? So... I went ahead and grabbed me a drink, and we're going to get right off into this. I know this video is probably going to be a little longer than my normal style video, and I just want to tell you guys what's been happening with me over the past probably year. I used to pump out a video two or three a week, and then I slowed way down to where I was doing maybe one to two, maybe three a month, all right? But the reason I'm making this video is to tell you guys why this started happening, and hopes that it would really help somebody else all right so not this last november but the november prior to that so we're in 2021 uh not 2020 but actually 2019 uh the day after thanksgiving um i noticed like a lot of problems so i basically woke up the day after thanksgiving of 2019 and had some really severe vertigo all right those of you that don't know what vertigo is, it's basically just a crazy spinning sensation. And sometimes it's so bad to where you can't stand up. You literally have to hold on to things or get down on the ground because you feel like you're just going to jump over and fall. So I dealt with that. I'm really stubborn. I didn't go to the hospital. This lasted for probably a good 24 hours before it actually subsided just a little bit. And... Um, I really didn't think nothing about it because I deal with anxiety on a daily basis. And I thought it could have just been some anxiety triggering it. But this feeling kind of lingered on for, I don't know, probably three or four weeks before it ever actually kind of got out of me or stepped away from me or however you want to say that. You know, it just, it took a while to leave my body. And now this is years later and I'm still dealing with with this problem it's just not as bad as it was prior to this of that you know that day that event when it had happened so with that being said these things led me into googling and googling and literally researching every single thing i could think of that may cause me to do this for this to have happened all right so i looked into magnesium levels uh, vitamin b12 levels I looked into vertigo. I looked into certain vertigo maneuvers to get rid of the vertigo. I looked into vitamin D. I looked into a lot of different things to try to figure out what was going on with me. And my mom at the time was staying with me for probably about three or four weeks. And I remember my mom, you know, this was months later after I just started going back and thinking like what, what happened this day or these weeks. And I remember my mom saying, James, you look, like really pale compared to what you usually are and i didn't know what that meant like at the time like like you're really pale looking like you're about to pass out or if you're just really pale you know what i mean like you're really pale and uh i really didn't know how to take it i kind of just it kind of just went in one ear and out the other right so i dealt with this on a daily basis and it was a really hard struggle it will bring you from up here all the way down to the bottom, right? And there's no other way to explain it. It will literally strip you of any manhood, or if you're a woman, regardless you understand what I'm talking about, it will strip you of any, just anything you got in you. It'll make you feel really low, and um, there's really no other way to explain it. it. You literally feel like you're dying when this vertigo happens because your brain is doing something out of the ordinary that it just never does all right so i read a lot of videos watched a lot of videos read a lot of comments and uh basically just started doing all my own research on all these other videos that i was watching all this other research i was reading up on and i went to my doctor looking for answers you know and just really couldn't get them so Basically, all my doctor told me at the time was, you got a little bit of fluid built up on this ear, 
let's get some antibiotics in you and um, we'll go from there so I was thinking well, okay maybe I got an inner ear infection or whatever middle ear infection take these antibiotics and I'll be good so that wasn't the case the antibiotics did absolutely nothing so at this point after about 10 days of antibiotics I'm really freaking out man so I read in one video where one guy said he went to his chiropractor and it got rid of a lot of the vertigo, uh, vertigo. So I went to my chiropractor, had him adjust me, and immediately I felt a lot of relief. Not, not all of it, but about 20, 30% relief, which is a lot when you feel 95% down and like crap, all right? So, and I want to go back to a few months prior to this, what had happened to me. We were at, me and my wife went to uh, Walmart and I started having really bad panic attacks while we're at Walmart. Now I have panic attacks anyways, but this one just popped up out of the blue like a normal panic attack. I didn't think much of it. I just really wanted to go home. So I called my wife, said, let's go home. And um, we were on our journey back to the house. My panic attack subsided. And within 30 seconds later, I had another one. And by the time that one went away, I had another one. Now, I've never done this before. I've only had one, maybe two a day max. So by the time we actually made it to the house, I'd had five major panic attacks, and I thought that I was going to have a heart attack at this point. I've never had so many back-to-back. -back. So at that time, I was drinking apple cider vinegar. It's supposed to be pretty good for you, especially if you have heartburn, things like that. Now, keep in mind, guys, I'm not a doctor, so take anything I say with a grain of salt. I just want to give you my experience. So... Ask your doctor if you're having any of these symptoms and figure out what may be going on. Or, uh, you know, maybe dig in, do your own search, and then ask your doctor about stuff like this. So, I believe the apple cider vinegar was literally flushing things out of my system. Uh, sodium, magnesium, uh, vitamin D, anything like that that would be in your system, I think it was actually flushing me out. And I really didn't notice it until it was too late, all right? So... Now going back to the back to the time when I was having the vertigo, I started getting like this weird pain right here in my head. It felt like the vertigo was stuck there even after it was gone. Like I like I could pinpoint that that error. Like I literally thought I was having like a brain tumor or something like something was going on right there. So and I still have problems to this day. I don't want you to think they're all gone, but I want to explain to you guys these symptoms of what I was having. Hopefully it will help you guys. So research after research after video after video it took me about two and a half three months of suffering before i came along a video on vitamin d deficiency all right which made me start reading up into it further and as i'm reading up into this deficiency i'm starting to think well maybe this could be part of my problem okay there's a lot of lot of lot of symptoms you guys can look them up google them, whatever you want to do there's a lot of vitamin d deficiencies that can really uh really bother you and kind of make it look like you have a depression problem and you might have a depression problem that is actually linked to the vitamin d deficiency um there's a lot of problems dizziness there's fatigue uh there's a whole lot of problems like i said look it up just google vitamin d deficiency if you guys are even curious that that may be a symptom that you have but so i went to my doctor and told my doctor about this um, and he said, yeah, there's, I don't think so. Dude, there's signs. There's, there's things that would, that you would know of that you would have this. And I was like, well, you know, I do have a lot of, uh, a lot of bad symptoms. I have a, a lot of crazy stuff going on. He wanted to know what they were. And I didn't want to tell him because I didn't want him to put me on a depression medicine by the way I was describing it because the way I was feeling was actually super, super down um like really down in my thoughts guys like really really down like now that i look back i know that that wasn't me i felt super down super depressed um but wasn't gonna tell my doctor that i felt uh really achy bones uh super weak i couldn't get sleep i was really really having like insomnia real bad my sleep pattern was really jacked up and uh yeah 
So I wasn't going to tell my doctor this because he would probably put me on depression medicine and that wasn't the route I wanted to do. So I told him I wanted to get all of my blood work checked, uh, which he really didn't want to do. He wanted to check just the normal blood work, which they don't check for vitamin D, magnesium, uh, and certain things like this B12 deficiency. They don't check for that in a normal uh, lab routine. So you have to ask for it. So I asked my doctor, even though he thought there was nothing wrong, and I'll be damned, the next day or the day after that, I think it was the second day because it takes a couple days to get your lab work back, he called me and said, we had to put you on an emergency dose of vitamin D. And my heart almost stopped. I was like, well, maybe this is the answer. I said, so what's up, man? What's, what's the deal? He said, uh, your vitamin D level's at like 20. Now, I'm not an expert, but I can tell you from what I've read up, your vitamin D levels need to be somewhere between, I'm going to say probably 35 and up to about 80. And uh, those numbers being down to 20 or even below can really, really affect you. Some people don't notice it like others. But if you feel any of these symptoms when you read a vitamin D deficiency on a chart or anything like that, make sure that you go get it checked out, guys. Um, it can be pretty serious. So I've actually heard vitamin D can actually even put you in a coma if it gets low enough. And I don't know if that's true, um, but I could see it happening because it really screwed me up. All right, so basically he put me on a mega dose of vitamin D. Now, you guys do not try to take a dose, anything like I took, without getting, you know, advice from your doctor. So they say that you're supposed to have at least 2,000 IUs of vitamin D a day. And we sit inside a lot, guys. You know, we don't get that. We're, we're, behind, the, we're behind doors, inside doors. We're behind computers. Um, we're just not outside as much as we was when we were kids. So therefore, we're not getting the same amount of sun. Um, so we're not getting our vitamin D that way. We're not getting enough vitamin D through our food sources. So my doctor put me on a mega dose of vitamin D and it was 50,000 IUs weekly. So that is a lot of vitamin D, but from reading further into it, there's some doctors out there that say you should take no less than five to 10,000 IUs a day. Of course, you want to sub of course you want to supplement that with a couple other supplements and be safe. You know, you really need magnesium to help with that vitamin D and then maybe some K2 to help from a calcium buildup is what, you know, a lot of people say. So like I said, I'm not, a, I'm not a doctor, do your own research. But so I started doing these things on my own and supplementing them with my vitamin D, all right? Now, my symptoms were bad, guys. I'm 40 years old and my refrigerator isn't very far away from my bedroom, right? It's probably like 15 to 20 feet. Now, my bones were hurting so bad, my shins, my shoulders, and just pretty much all my bones, but like mainly the ones you use the most, my shoulders, my arms, uh, my, my lower legs were hurting so bad that I could barely make it to the refrigerator, which was 15, 20 feet away. Like I said, it just killed me to walk that short distance. So after supplementing, which was hard for me because the vitamin D actually was messing with me. It was the first time I would take it would actually make it to where I couldn't sleep at all. I would wake up like every probably five minutes or so and then fall back to sleep and then wake up and fall back to sleep and do that off and on all night long until eventually it would be daylight and then I'd be up again wide awake. But then the next night I'd be able to sleep again. So the vitamin D, for those of you I know people are going to ask, how long did it take to correct this? Or how long did it take to correct the bone pain, the... Um, the 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 bad the the bad thoughts the depression the brain fog i mean literally like just aching all over just my complete body sore feels de like i'm deteriorating like literally turning into dust uh my thoughts are really unclear just kind of veered off into nowhere you know what i mean and i could be in the middle of a conversation and forget what i was going to say just like that just literally like that over and over and over, which was really abnormal for me. And uh, it took me about, I'm gonna say two months of taking that to start feeling a little better, to get that weird little pain I had right here to kind of reverse itself. 
uh, the vertigo kind of started to leaving my body and the anxiety too. Not all the anxiety went away because I've suffered with it for so long, but a lot of it had just kind of went away. And then after the third month, even more of it went away. And after the third month, I was done taking it. So five or six months in, I feel a lot better. I got actually started going outside. Guys, I was so bad to where I wouldn't even go outside, man. Like I got so bad. I just sat indoors, like literally just sitting here wasting away doing nothing like i felt like my life was over guys i literally felt like i was going to die like it's hard to explain it's that bad it, i literally felt like i was going to die in the story so i started getting back i started getting out feeling better started going out and getting sun sitting outside 30 minutes to an hour a day i got real tan i would sit on my uh, lay on my back get sun on one side flip over get sun on the other Got really tan. I'm starting to lose a little bit of it now because it's winter time again, the time making this video. But I started feeling a lot better and I actually started walking around more. I started feeling way better, guys. So if any of you guys that feel like that, there is hope. If you got your vitamin D, uh, vitamin D, if you got your vitamin D levels checked and they're low, don't give up hope. Just keep taking the medicine that your doctor prescribed you and it will come back up unless you're somebody that can't absorb it right but vitamin d guys the reason it affects you so bad in your mind and you get down some people get depressed and i hope you're still watching this video guys i hope you're still watching this video because vitamin d the reason you start getting down and depressed vitamin d is actually turned in so when you take it it's actually turned into a hormone in your body so it really affects your brain it affects your melatonin levels. That's why I was having trouble sleeping. It really can make you feel down, like really depressed, guys. So if you're super pale or just feeling super down or super achy, fatigued, anything like this, guys, like I said, Google it and you'll kind of get the ideas. You know, I don't have a chart sitting right here in front of me, but I could tell you more if I had it sitting here. I'm just giving you my uh, personal feelings that I was feeling, the brain fog, stuff like that. Those feelings of feeling down, brain fog, just kind of lost, like a blanket laid over your brain, man, and you just can't think straight, that can be vitamin D. That's the hormone that's creating this. So it's important enough to where I made a video on my channel to where I showed you guys how I actually grew pretty much all my hair back on my head. All of this right here, I had a straight up horseshoe, guys. Pretty much all this hair was missing, and I can't show you now because my head, I just I shaved my head, I buzzed it back off. But I'd actually grew it out. Those of you who know, know, I grew my hair back out. And that was just with the vitamin D. It literally, like, that was one of the first things I noticed. It was a, probably the first month in, I started noticing that my hair looked a lot thicker on top. And I started taking pictures. And then by the third or fourth month in, it was pretty much all grown back. Like it looked, I don't know, man, 10 years ago, 8, 10 years ago. It looked pretty much like that. And uh, like I said, I'll show you now, but I, I shave, I don't shave it bald, it's buzzed. But uh, you can go back and look at my other videos and I got a picture there. I'll go on my Instagram, you can see a picture before and after to where I actually grew my hair back. So that tells you how much of a hormone vitamin D actually is in your body and that you need it. So if any of you guys are suffering from this, I really suggest you go get it checked out by a doctor because it can be something as simple as this. Did your doctors just overlook him because these people are prescription writers, man. They don't know and they don't dig deep enough to understand a vitamin D deficiency or a magnesium deficiency or whatever it may be, potassium deficiency. They don't they don't look that far into it, man. They 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 check you out and say, Oh, you got a runny nose, here's an antibiotic. You got an earache, here's an antibiotic. You, you don't feel right, here's here's some depression medicine. That's what they do. They don't take the time like they used to back in the day and actually help and listen to you and evaluate you. And it may be something as simple as mine. Now, I will tell you that I've been up and down, guys, over the past few months. I think it's because it's cold outside and I get as much as sun. I haven't been supplementing vitamin D anymore. Uh, I probably should be, but I don't have a big enough dose for me to take once a week. So that puts me taking a smaller dose every day. And like I said earlier in the video, when I first take it the first night, I don't sleep worth the crap. So... That's unacceptable. I can't do that every night, but if I find a bigger dose, I'll take it once a week and just sleep bad that one night out of the week, and I'll be fine with that. But it was a major turnaround, guys. I literally did a 360. I went from sitting in the house, bones aching, brain fog, 
feeling depressed, and many other symptoms to literally getting outside, walking around, talking to people more, getting sun, or getting sun on me, walking my dog around, feeling way better without most of the bone pain. Now, like I said, now that it's a little cold outside, I ain't been supplementing, a little bit of that is coming back. So it's kind of a little bit of a roller coaster, but I have never went back down to the way I felt that November when I had that bad vertigo. And I think that was all linked to that vitamin D deficiency, guys. So pay attention to your body, guys. Make sure you're putting the right stuff in your body. And uh, even like this, I started drinking these. It's called Electrolyte. Uh, these have a lot of potassium in it. Uh, a lot of, mag you know, a pretty a decent amount of magnesium. So it's got stuff that you need in it that you're not going to get out of our everyday diets. You know, you need to eat like, I don't know, six to eight cups of vegetables a day to get some of these uh, minerals in your body. And we're just not going to get it through our food unless we're doing that. And even then, the foods nowadays, we're just not getting it, guys. So pay real close attention to that. And as far as the vitamin D, I personally don't think you can ever get enough of that through your food. You're not going to get enough of it through milk, uh, cereal. You could probably eat salmon every single day, which I was eating a lot, and and uh, and get some of it. But you're not going to get the recommended daily dose, I don't think, out of the little bit of foods we're eating. It's just it's almost impossible any, anymore. So... Pay real close attention, guys. I'm sorry the video was so long, but I really just wanted to make sure that I got some of the points out. I know I forgot a whole lot in the video. If you guys have any questions, drop them down below. Uh, my Instagram is Beards and Cars. If any of you guys are suffering and just want to, you know, shoot the shit or kind of ask me some questions about it, I'm not a doctor, but like I said, I may be able to help. I may be able to tell you a little bit more of my symptoms that will come to me. It's kind of hard to describe in a video. Sometimes you just forget things, you know, you, you get a little emotional. Um, you know, I actually watched other videos <clears throat> to learn these things. And uh, some of the videos actually made me emotional because some of these people were literally grown men like me, grown women, some kids literally just sitting there crying to a camera because they were hurting that bad and had no idea that it was something so simple, sorry, something so simple as a vitamin D deficiency, you know. It's just crazy, guys. So pay attention to what you put in your body, guys. And I know one more thing I want to say. A lot of people say, make sure you drink plenty of water. Make sure you drink plenty of water. It is good to drink plenty of water. But let me tell you something. You can also drink too much water. You know, you can also drink too much water and you start depleting some of the stuff out of your body. So also be careful with that, guys. Do your research. Ask your doctors if you're having problems with depression or anything like that just out of the blue man who knows man it's worth going and getting your blood uh checked asking for this it can be something that simple guys and that's really why i made this video please guys if this helped you in any way leave me a comment down below leave me a thumbs up share the video with somebody else that's literally having a vitamin uh, vitamin d problem or you think might have a vitamin d problem and just show them this so they can understand, like, it could possibly be something else besides just depression, you know. It could be just a vitamin. A vitamin that creates and turns itself into a hormone, um, which really is effective on your mind, guys. So with that being said, I hope I helped someone. And I'll see you guys in the next video.